One of the common questions that we have is how do I tie my motorcycle down? Um, there's different ways and different styles of straps out there. You're going to see a lot of things. What we found works best is a traditional, uh, and they call it a universal cam system. So you're just going to pull the strap tight and then it will hold tight. Now there's a button here that we press and we can release the strap. There's no ratchet on this. Um, if you're tying the bike down by yourself, it's really hard to get it upright and ratchet the thing down. So we use these straps. Uh, we use them every day. We have great luck with them and they're really, really strong. Uh, they are an Anchor brand. Harley also sells them with their own brand name on, made by the same company. Another piece that we use is a soft strap. So this actually protects your motorcycle. So if we go around a handlebar or a chromed finish, we're not going to look at a bunch of scratches when we get it off. Um, so I'll show you on any road game how we would tie a bike down. I'll also show you a couple different points on the bike where you can tie them. The first point that we would use is tying between the engine guard and the frame. That's the most sturdy point on the bike. It's still going to allow you to use downward force on the suspension. So, your soft strap goes around both the frame and the engine guard. And then the eyelet closest to the cam goes on the soft strap. The reason we do that is when you're pulling down, we're compressing the shock rather than trying to pull up. It's just a little more of a natural motion. Take your other end of your strap, put it on the eyelet, and pull tight. You do the same thing on the other side, and you'll be able to actually use a rocking motion of your motorcycle to get it tighter as you compress the forks. The idea is to get it tight enough that the bike is not providing slack in the shock when you move it back and forth. Um, and other than that, you don't need it any tighter. When we tie it on the rear end of the motorcycle, it actually is nicest to use a ratchet strap. You've already tied the front end of the bike down, so it is vertical. We're not going to be able to use the bike side to side momentum to tie it down. So, what I'm going to show you here is again on the same Road King how to tie down the back end of the motorcycle. There are a few different points. Um, I'll show you the one that we use the most common and the most uh, often. And uh, you can always improvise if you need to. All you're doing with the back is keeping the motorcycle from moving side to side. This is not keeping the bike upright, it's just keeping it from moving side to side. You're going to want to anchor your strap down in the eyelet. Unfortunately, in my situation, I don't have one to show you, but ideally it would be either straight down or forward from the point you're going to tie down. The reason we do that is we tie down the front, we're pulling the bike into a wheel chalk. We don't want to be pulling it away from that by tying the back end down. So you will loop the strap down. The point you're going to tie onto, hook it into your eyelet, and from that point you'll ratchet the strap. And again, snug, you don't have to get those things tight.